The moon isn't just a silent rock. It's a 3,474 kilometer time capsule born 4.51 billion years ago from a cosmic collision holding secrets of Earth's past. Orbiting 384,400 kilometers away, this quarter Earth-sized guardian has shaped our tides, guided our dreams, and now unveils new frontiers with water ice and advanced landings. From Apollo's first steps to Japan's moon sniper, we're diving into every fact, mystery, and frontier of our lunar neighbor. Get ready for the ultimate cosmic reveal. How did the moon form? A massive crash 4.51 billion years ago provides the clue. A Mars-sized object called Theia struck early Earth, flinging molten debris into space that clumped into the moon in just 100 years. Apollo missions confirmed its rocks match Earth's mantle with chemical traces suggesting Theia's influence, though the exact mix is still under study. At first, the moon orbited just 20,000 kilometers from Earth, close enough to trigger strong tidal forces. These forces slowed its spin, locking one face toward us forever. The near side heated up, sending material to the cooler far side, where a thicker crust up to 60 kilometers formed compared to 20 to 30 kilometers on the near side. Luna 3's 1959 photos first revealed this difference, a mystery scientists continue to explore. The moon's early orbit also caused Earth's days to lengthen from six hours to 24 hours over billions of years, a lasting impact on our planet. Inside, the moon has a small core about 350 kilometers wide, likely made of iron with a liquid layer, cooler than Earth's. A thick mantle sits above possibly fluid deep down but solid near the surface, topped by a crust scarred by ancient impacts. This layered structure, preserved for billions of years, offers clues to the moon's early life and inspires ongoing research into its evolution. The moon's surface tells a story of chaos and calm. Its near side features highlands, crater-covered terrain over four billion years old, and Maria, dark lava plains from 3 to 3.5 billion years ago, covering 16% of the visible face. These seas formed when molten rock filled giant craters, reflecting the moon's fiery past. Craters are everywhere, from the vast 1,100-kilometer 1, South Pole Aitken Basin to smaller ones with central peaks or rays stretching 1,500 kilometers, like those from Tycho. These marks show a history of collisions, Beyond craters, sinuous rills, dry lava channels hundreds of kilometers long, and lava tubes with collapsed skylights reveal hidden depths. Some tubes stretch up to 40 kilometers, offering potential shelters for future explorers. Mountains from impact rims and gentle mounds add variety, though the moon's quiet tectonics prevent new formations. A key discovery came in 2009 when India's Chandrayaan-1 found water ice in shadowed polar craters later confirmed by NASA's LRO. This resource could support future missions by providing water, fuel, or oxygen. The far side, with its thicker 60-kilometer crust and few maria, differs due to early heating from Earth, sparking ongoing curiosity about its unique development. Our journey to the moon began with Luna 3 in 1959, unveiling the far side's rugged terrain. Apollo 11 followed in 1969, with Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin gathering 382 kilograms of rocks, offering hints about the mantle. Over six missions, 12 astronauts explored the near side, leaving a legacy of data and footprints, including tools and experiments that still transmit signals. A major step came with Japan's SLIM in 2024, a 200 kilogram craft landing just 55 meters from its target far more precise than Apollo's 18-kilometer zone. Using smart cameras, it adjusted during descent and survived freezing nights despite tipping over, sharing valuable rock photos. Russia's Luna 25, however, crashed in 2023 due to a navigation error, highlighting the moon's challenges. Only 43% of landings have succeeded. Early efforts like Luna 9 in 1966, the first to soft land, and Ranger 7 in 1964, which sent back close-up images before crashing, proved lunar exploration was possible despite no atmosphere. The moon stands as a launch pad for humanity's next steps. 
NASA's Artemis program targets 2026, aiming to build bases at the South Pole using water ice for fuel and support, opening paths to Mars. Private efforts like SpaceX envision lunar visits, expanding our presence with plans for small habitats. Yet obstacles remain. Without an atmosphere, temperatures swing from 127 degrees Celsius in daylight to minus 173 degrees Celsius at night, straining equipment. 14-day lunar nights drain power, as Slim experienced, while radiation levels up to 380 millisieverts yearly pose health risks, requiring advanced shields. The 18.6-year nodal cycle might also raise tides by 2030 if sea levels rise, adding environmental concerns. Dust, fine and sharp, clogs machinery and threatens lungs, demanding new designs. Success depends on collaboration. Luna 25's failure showed the risks of isolation, while Slim's triumph highlighted smart technology. The moon challenges us to adapt and innovate, turning its surface into a stepping stone for the cosmos. The moon's saga, from its 4.51 billion year origin to its 3,474 kilometer expanse of craters and resources, reflects our journey. Apollo's bold steps, Slim's precision, and Artemis' ambitions mark our progress, while challenges test our resolve. This celestial neighbor inspires us to reach beyond Earth and build a future among the stars. What fascinates you most about the moon? Share your thoughts below, like this story, and subscribe for more space adventures. Together, let's keep pushing the boundaries of discovery.